In this end of discussion checkpoint, I use it right after the notes because it's a second exposure that students have gotten to the material of a position versus time graph and what the slope and the y-intercept represent. They did their whiteboard session the day before um, and then the notes that day, so I want to see what they gain from both of those experiences. And so what I notice is that they can identify what the slope and the y-intercept represent because we've had extensive conversations about those in the past two classes but I still have students that don't remember that a mathematical model means putting the units and putting what the variables x and y represent in their equation and so that was one thing that I would like to reinforce from the previous unit because it's going to be important throughout the entire semester of physics to make sure that they replace x and y.